you have seen about uh, how to do your or how to write your backward xpath which is nothing but a part of your xpath access so now i would like to bring to understand about css selectors in your selenium to identify the elements right css selectors are nothing but which is going to work on top of your styling styling of the element okay so these css selectors are going to be very much powerful when compared to your xpath okay so now how to start with this css selectors and what is the entry point for me to get started with the css selector so first understand how css selectors syntax will look like okay so now basically right we all know about there are different attributes available out of that the most unique attribute right which is going to be called as id and the classifying one which is where i want to represent a group of elements there i'll be using my class okay so now we already known in your xpath when there is a id or when there is a class right which are going to be called as attributes how to identify that particular element in xpath okay so now what is the xpath syntax we are going to write double forward slash html tag square brackets at the rate of id is equal to single quotes value we all know about this syntax which is going to be called as you have simple xpath right to identify any element when you have id right we'll go and write this particular xpath similarly in the css how we can able to write this is when only you have an id when you have an id right id is represented with hash symbol id is going to represent it in your hash symbol okay so now what you want to do here is using this hash we need to write this one okay so the syntax is going to be look like the syntax is going to be look like hash id so what is your id right go and bring that id so now this is going to be call it as hash id which is going to represent it as css selector okay so now let us see that how i can able to go and write this css selector for a given element and the html dom structure so now what you want to do here is just go to your register module here right now i have a element called first name here let me go and inspect this so let me go and identify this first name fine right so not to write your css selector so what you want to do here as you what you did in your uh, x path right just go and press your control f right so now i have id called as first name just go and select this first name so double forward slash right which is going to be your x path but i want to write my css selector here just go and use your hash css selector see you can able to identify this element right when i want to use your hash hash is going to indicate your id indicates a single element okay in such cases we can able to go and write your hash like this 